Hazard Pay is back on under the third stimulus package. There'll be not one, not two, but three types of hazard pay. Public sector hazard pay, private sector hazard pay, and earned income tax credit for people who made less than $25,000 as an essential worker during the pandemic. But how will Joe Biden do hazard pay? In the next few days, we're gonna finally see detail about the hazard pay provisions. But in this throwback video on Overnight's LA, I explain how you get hazard pay under the 2020 Heroes Act of Nancy Pelosi. It was $10,000, up to $10,000, based upon the following calculation. $13 an hour from January to 60 days after the pandemic ends, times the number of hours you work, part-time, full-time, or overtime. It's very straightforward and it's very organized. The question is whether he'll do this or modify it. Enjoy this Overnight's LA throwback video explaining how you get hazard pay, how it's calculated, who are essential workers, and how it was devised of the 2020 HEROES Act. Enjoy this Overnight LA's video on hazard pay. Hazard pay really heats up as members of Congress decide whether or not to pay the $10,000 or to pay much less. Hey everybody, this is LA Lake with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today. This one about hazard pay, that $10,000 from the federal government that would come to you if you were an essential worker who worked during the pandemic or still working during the pandemic. Big confusing and great but all over the place news today about the future of hazard pay. If you don't recall, LA Late has been detailing the future and potential livelihood of the hazard pay bill, which is the HEROES Act, which landed in the Senate from the House. It pays $10,000 to essential workers who worked during the pandemic based upon a $13 an hour calculation times the number of hours you worked, whether you were, whether you were full-time, part-time, uh, temporary, overtime. And you bring that number up to the present. If you made over $100,000 last year, you would only get $5,000 a lump sum. But if you made less than $100,000, you would get $10,000. Moreover, if you didn't reach that threshold, you would still get a lump sum amount for whatever you reached at, and then you would be paid $13 an hour going forward. It's great, it's wonderful, and it's so needed. And yet, we have absolute dead silence from Mitch and Stevie Mnuchin. What the hell is going on here, folks? So let me get to the details. The future and the potential livelihood of hazard pay being passed as a bill was going to be revealed a week ago today when Steve Mnuchin and Mitch McConnell said, you know what, we are going to debut our Republican second stimulus package, and you will see what's in it. And you know what, we've been working on it for weeks, is what they said. And at worst, we're going to debut it this coming Monday, which is last Monday. So guess what, last Monday we saw nothing. And guess what, it's Friday, and we still see nothing. In fact, yesterday was Thursday, and I reported that both of them were on the record saying we're going to have it out later today. So what the hell is going on? The White House issued a statement minutes ago that said, hey, we need more time. We're not, uh, we're not uh, in agreement with this. Mitch McConnell simply, simply jumped in there and said, no, no, we've agreed on this in fund fundamental purposes, but we still need a little bit more time. And we'll be done this coming Monday. I don't buy it. I really don't buy it. The White House has clearly said they're unhappy about a couple things. But what's really disconcerting is that Sources close to the White House have been leaking parts of what they claim will be in the Republican second stimulus package, and no mention in there is hazard pay. What makes it even more problematic is news reporters aren't asking about hazard pay or rent assistance. It's those two things that they seem to forget are so darn important, and they seem to forget about them, and they never ask anyone about them. So we have today what the second stimulus check package from the Republicans might have in it, but it doesn't mention it doesn't mention hazard pay. It would include temporary and reduced extensions of unemployment insurance, a round of direct payments, a liability for protection for businesses and doctors, and $105 million in school and funding. Now, 
I know it's early in this video, but I'm about to rant. And you know what I'm about to rant, because we've now seen several times this week that the Republicans have leaked to members of press that they want the second stimulus package to have liability protections for businesses who employ essential workers during a pandemic. I mean, really? So the concern is that we are going to protect the, le the, the employers who are employing you, the hazard pay workers, the essential workers during a pandemic, so that you can't sue the employer. And on the same regard, we're not going to pay you hazard pay, potentially. Wow. I mean, you want me to digest that with a glass of water because it does not go down smoothly. If that's what the Republicans are going to debut next week, we are in a big mess because whoever's leaking this stuff out of the White House to, to at broadcast news, if this is accurate, hazard pay people are just going to be up in arms. The protection would provide a business's protection from lawsuits, except, except in for cases of gross negligence and intentional misconduct. Uh, according to Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell, at every twist and turn, has talked about protecting the employers from you suing the employers for working during a hazardous env environment as essential workers. But in the same breath, Mitch McConnell has never talked about giving you hazard pay. He has described the provision as a red line in talks with the Democrats. And this is also quite interesting that he has said, Mitch McConnell, and this I actually believe his I believe this is his position, that he is that this is a non-negotiable, that he's absolutely going to require the second stimulus package to have a provision in there that essential workers cannot sue their employers if they get injured during the pandemic. But in the same regards, Mitch mentions nothing about hazard pay. So will hazard pay be a red line for the Democrats? Will they say, fine, Mitch, we'll give you that, that liability provision, but we are not going to sign the bill unless you provide for hazard pay? I don't know. It's very hard to figure out from reading the tea leaves where the red line is for both sides. And hazard pay has been one of those bills that is so critical, so important, but yet the Democrats have really not stood hard and firm behind it. It's also been the product of bad news reporters. Broadcast news have continually failed to ask questions about hazard pay and rent assistance. So as I sit here and report the updates about hazard pay, I really don't have anyone asking Mitch McConnell or Steve Mnuchin or, 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 or Chuck Schumer or Nancy Pelosi anything about hazard pay. What do you think about hazard pay? It's like it's not even there. You know, there are other parts of the second stimulus package bill, like student loan forgiveness, which some people have dropped in the comments. Hey, like, what's going on with that? It's in the hazard pay. It's in the HEROES Act from the Democrats. We haven't heard from the Democrats if that's still a red line for them or if they're going to toss that out to the left field. Um, it's really quite confusing. Uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer said, we had expected to be working this weekend to find common ground on the next COVID response package. But Mitch and Stevie delivered nothing. Nothing but a lot of false promises. The false promise was that there was going to be a package delivered on Monday. It wasn't. Then the promise was it was going to come yesterday. It didn't. Now the promise is coming next Monday. Ironically, there was an Alabama, Alabama, Alabama a senator, which I detailed yesterday, who said, I don't believe Mitch. You're never going to see this package from the Republicans until next Monday. Well, apparently that's the case. Steve Mnuchin has also not said if he supports hazard pay or doesn't support hazard pay. He has not talked about anything of virtue regarding essential workers. And what's very, very troubling is that the numbers the lockdowns and the situations are getting worse. What this channel has been detailing is that lockdowns are being issued nationwide, city by city, in a, in a, in a very comprehensive way, very quickly, and they're going to continue very quickly. So all those essential workers are going to be very, very, very well needed. Whether you're a nurse, or you're a shipper, or you're a lift driver, or you work a pharmacy, or, you know, all of you are so valuable. And as the pandemic spreads, you are more at harm's way. You are more at risk. So are the Republicans going to push back and not give you a penny? Or are the Democrats going to push the other way and say, we're not signing the second stimulus package unless there's hazard pay in there? What we do know is the following. 
The Democrats have said the second stimulus package is a box and has a lot of bills in it like hazard pay and we are not piecemealing. <laughs> They're not going to take out pieces of the box and make them into 55 different bills. The Republicans say, yeah, we want to do that. We want to have a thousand different bills. We want to do unemployment benefits, second stimulus check, and something for schools right away the next week. Well, what about hazard pay? What about rent assistance? We really don't know what's going on. It's simply unacceptable that the Republicans have had this entire time to reach consensus among themselves and continue to flail. This is, in essence, a time of essence and time of lives being lost. A spokesperson for Mitch McConnell refused to comment about the story. Uh, every time I write, a, every time I do these uh, updates, it's a, Mitch refused to comment. Mitch refused to comment. Mitch is uh, Mitch doesn't have your stimulus package. Um, Mitch is not available. You know, if you're not available, just, you know, just retire and go home because, you know, you're not serving your party. You're not serving the Democrats, the Republicans. You're not serving the, you're not serving your constituents. You're not serving the American people. You're literally doing nothing. And all you're doing is making a lot of bills to help big business. And so the audacity, and here I'm ranting again, the audacity of Mitch McConnell to say, I'm going to have a liability provision to protect, to protect employers so that when they're employing people in a hazardous environment in this, as essential workers, you can't sue them unless they intentionally hurt you. Unless intentional misconduct, you can't do anything with your employer. But on the same breath, he doesn't want to do anything for the employees. It's really, really quite scary. Um, but the Trump administration apparently is unhappy with someone, and it seems to suggest they're unhappy with Mitch McConnell. The Trump administration has requested additional time to review the fine details and will be laying down the proposal next week. Uh, but Chuck Schumer says, don't hold your breath for next Monday. The Republicans' disarray and dithering has a serious potential deadly consequences of tens of millions of people. Uh, Pelosi talks about the $600 a week. Um, Mnuchin says um, we're still working on it. And uh, Mnuchin says the pref president's preference is to make sure that more money goes out sooner rather than later. Well, where is it? Ultimately, what I want you to understand is that if you're working as a central worker, there are several hazard pay bills before the Congress, and that if the Republicans don't include it next week, don't worry, because there are other Republicans that have. If you don't recall, Mitt Romney has introduced, who's a Republican, has introduced a hazard pay bill. It's brilliantly written. It does exactly what you want it to do. It helps you. I mean, if Mitt Romney can get it right, why can't the rest of the Republicans get it right? Mitt Romney wants to pay you approximately $12 an hour, instead of $13 an hour, he does everything else the same calculation across the board. So maybe it's a few dollars cheaper. Uh, but the great news is he forces the employer to do it. The Democrats' bill does not require the employer to get the hazard pay money for you. In fact, it says the employer shall, that does not have to, and there's no recourse against the employer if they don't. Who writes a bill like that, Democrats? I mean, why write a bill where things are just sort of discretionary and, you know, maybe if you want to do it, you can go do it? That doesn't help anyone. Mitt Romney says it doesn't help anyone. He wants to require the employers to do it. And so Mitt Romney puts it actually in there the required language that says, employer, you must do it. But Mitt Romney actually does something a lot better. He understands as a, as a business person, as a person who worked at Bain, that... You have to pay people to do a lot of bookkeeping. Hazard pay is a lot of bookkeeping. The money comes from the federal government. It's given to the employer. The employer then sends it out to the employee. It's done it based upon calculations that the employer looks at timesheets back to January, does calculations, submits them to the White House. Does the, do the Democrats think that employers are going to do that for free? Apparently, they think so. I don't know any employer that does stuff like that for free. It's a lot of time-consuming effort. And so Mitt Romney says, no, this is going to fail. This is not going to get money in, in employees' hands. We have to pay the employers to do this, require them to do them, and then they'll do it. And that's what his bill proposes. The bill proposes the Romney plan that the, that the, uh, that the Federal Reserve would pay the employers to do it, require the employers to do it, that they would then get the money and then route it to the employees, and we're all good. 
see why can Nick get and oh, oh and by the way let me let me just add if this doesn't put the nail in the coffin even more Mitt Romney wrote this bill several weeks ago Far before Mitch McConnell and Steve Mnuchin said they had to work on the second stimulus package, far before people took vacations, Mitt Romney got his bill done, introduced it, it's on the floor. It's not up for a vote, it's on the floor. So why can Mitt Romney get something done so quickly and the rest of the Republicans can't figure out even what to do? And then there's the Democrats on the other side who have a bill that says, let's just discretionary apply for hazard pay. Ultimately, I'm very concerned for you. I am concerned for you because I don't know what's going on. And next week, I don't want you to be worried because if the Republicans debut their second stimulus package on Monday and it does not include hazard pay, I don't want you to be worried. I don't want you to be worried because ultimately the two bills are combined. The second stimulus package for both the Republicans and the Democrats are combined. They're negotiated together. That's the rules and regulations of Congress. So don't think just because Mitch debuts a butchered bill on Monday, potentially, that doesn't have hazard pay, that hazard pay is dead. It, it is not dead. And I've seen a lot of comments from people that say, I heard that we aren't. That's, you know... That is basically politicians filtering to you what their position is. It's not a bill. It's not a law. There's going to be a lot of twists and turns next week. I'm going to keep you updated. It's, and, and, you know, we're going into the weekend. They're going to be working the Sunday morning news channels. They're going to be talking up their talking points. So you know there's going to be updates as well. As always, stay motivated, stay positive, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.